Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing episode 3 of Night at the Improv and what we're going to be doing is the viewer provides me the word. I'll add it to my spinner. It'll randomly select the word that I'm going to be base, basing my design off of. I'll also give a shout out to whomever uh, gave me the word. So if you can take a minute to uh, leave a comment below, give me your word so that I can add it to the spinner. And who knows, maybe next week I'll be making a design based on the word that you give me. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. And for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. The word for tonight is going to be cheese. And the word cheese for tonight was um, given to me by Sandra's Sparkly Sets. Thank you so much for this very difficult word. <laughs> Although I love, 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 love cheese. Having to incorporate the word cheese into a design tonight might be a little difficult. So, we're going to try it. So, as per usual, I'm going to be working with three tips. I've got my gelish soft gel tips and um, I'm going to just file down the nubs and buff the surface so that I can prep myself for this design. Okay, so now that I have prepped my nails, I'm going to be spinning the dial to see how many um, background colors I'm going to be using for today. Now, after spinning, I have to use two colors. So I am going to start with a couple of colors. I have an idea in mind. So uh, three of my favorite cheese meals are pizza, mac and cheese, and grilled cheese. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna try doing those. So for the grilled cheese, I'm going to lay down, and only because this is lacquer and um, I don't, I need it, I need time for it to dry. I'm going to be using Sally Henson's Miracle Gel color um, Spice Age. I wanted to make a plate, but I wanted it to be like fall colors since we're entering that season now. I never know where to put this stinking bottle. And I'm just going to put a nice, healthy coat of that. So we'll set this aside. Let that dry. And we're going to start on the other one. So that's grilled cheese. So what I was planning on doing is making the whole nail pizza. And I'm going to kind of take a bite out of it. So I think that'll be cute. All right, moving on. I'm gonna let this dry set it aside here. For anybody that just popped in, thank you for coming tonight at the improv and tonight's word is cheese. If you'd like to leave your word below, please comment below. Any word that comes up, please keep it PG-13 and um, I'll add it to my spinner and maybe your word will be selected next week. 
but yes, Night at the Improv, Saturday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. So for my mac and cheese, I'm just going to paint the color of a nice white bowl. Now I'm going to go back to this guy here and I want to do like a fancy leaf design. I mean this is a fancy plate to be serving um, grilled cheese on it. <laughs> so we picked up part of that design. I'm going to take some clear tape Clear tape is what I use. You can use a lint roller or whatever else you have. And because I don't want the design to show up cut off, I'm going to just remove the cut off pieces. So essentially we're working with four leaves. I see already. Um, and I just prefer it that way so I can select how I want to um, place my stamp. I don't like the stamp image to dictate where I put my image. So if you clean it up, especially with a repetitive pattern like this, you can easily just copy another stamp and um, line it up like wallpaper to complete your image over the full nail. See, like that. Okay. So now that we've got this here, I gotta decide if I want this guy to lay across or um, vertical, I'm thinking about doing a diagonal. So I'm just gonna actually, you know, pick a random spot. Um, and I wanna make sure I show a full image. So let's just do one tip, one end to the other end. And I think I missed it, but whatever. And then just follow your stamper to unfold on this guy here. And I did kind of mess up here, but since it is a clear stamper, just line it up and then you can salvage the image. Okay. So how about that for a designer nail? Very cute. I might just do it one more time and then lay it across this way. You know what, let's see if I can finish this by using this last piece here. There we go. Look at that. Lord have mercy. Very pretty. Okay, so I think I have the backdrop for what I want to do here. I'm going to start spinning for the decor, and we'll see what we've got. Okay, so for our first bin, we have rhinestones. 
which is not going to work with this design. <laughs> oh Lord. Let's see. So I want to also um, seal this design in. So maybe I'll work with this for now. So maybe I can, I'm going to put um, magnets on here. So I'm going to be needing that. And then, um, as you know, I don't like to have my uh, magnets bare. So I think I'm going to be putting some of this yellow rhinestone. It's going to be a cheesy way. Ha! <laughs> It's going to be a cheesy way to fulfill the rhinestone um, requirement, but it is what it is. So let's do this thing. Okay, I'm going to need two magnets and I'm going to need... Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Let's do Madam Glam top coat. And I'm gonna apply some rhinestone glue. Gotta clean this thing. Um, right on the middle. And you know, if it's sloppy, it's sloppy because we're going to be putting rhinestones around the magnet. Now I'm going to, with my fingers, which is separate the magnets. So at this point you really don't care what side you need to put it on because it's bare. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to plop this in the center. Push it down a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with my So now for this one, I'm going to do the same thing with the rhinestone glue. I'm just going to line it. So I'm going to be um, spinning again to see uh, what the next piece of decor is. So after the spin, it just keeps getting better. Like last week, far, far more removed from the word that we have tonight. If you're just tuning in, then tonight's word is cheese. Um, the next spin that I did was for caviar beads. So what I'm going to have to do is just add caviar beads. <laughs> While those are curing, I've uh, had some time to let this dry. So I'm just gonna take some of my Madame Glam base coat. And I'm using base so that I'll be able to do more artwork on this. Let 
Let's work on this one. Okay, now for the cheese, I'm going to use some, again, Born Pretty stamping polishes. I'm going to use the yellow and the white and see, hopefully see, some kind of cheese looking color. So I'm going to create tomato sauce. So I'm going to let that dry. So after spinning, um, I, for my last decor piece that is required for this design it are charms, which works well because I guess I can consider my grilled cheese as a charm and um, I'm gonna, rather than um, just artwork my mac and cheese, I'm gonna do some uh, pieces of mac and cheese using, um, using poly gel. So, just gonna let this dry. I want to do my backdrop for my mac and cheese and so now I have to make a color that looks like mac and cheese. So now I'm just gonna shellac this inside the bowl. This does look like mac and cheese. I hope I can make the same <laughs> color when I make the noodles. Wow, I'm really liking this. The color is perfect. You know, I'm not kidding you guys. Like, I'm not sitting here and I already came up with the colors. I'm like on the fly trying to figure this out in my head. I want to try to goop these colors here and there but yeah I did this all on the fly so again I really hope I'm gonna be able to replicate these colors once I finish the noodles but that's mac and cheese for sure <laughs> I can't put this aside <laughs> let it dry okay so to make these charms, I'm going to be using a Gelish Poly Gel and the Gelish Slip Solution. It smells so very nice, very nice and firm to work with. I love this product. If Gelish would like to hit me up someday and become a brand ambassador or something, that would be pretty awesome. <sighs> okay, so it's going to be easier if I shape this grilled cheese first before I, I attach the magnet. So I'm just going to form a square and 
You guys, I just, I can't with this design right now. <laughs> I didn't think I would be this entertained. Now, I gotta find out which side is the polar side. So clearly it's this side. So what I need to do is, oh my God. Like we did before, I'm going to take one side and scratch it with a pencil so that I know what side it needs to be on. And unfortunately, it's not writing as easy as it was the other time. But basically, that scratch side, and I can see it with my naked eye, um, how it needs to lay down. So if I can just pick this up. It's going to be on this side. I'm just going to flip it upside down. Take my pencil. All right, in theory, you're supposed to pick it up, but here you go. All right. And I'm going to push that in there. And just to secure it, I'm going to add a top coat. And then we're going to cure this. After doing that, I'm going to take my file. So it kind of looks like the size of toast. Now before I paint that, I'm just going to do the other one just so that I can Line it up and make sure they're the same size. And we can size check. I could just lay this next to each other and, you know, close enough. <clears throat> Okay, so now we're going to cure this. Now I have to make the noodles. I'm not sure how I'm going to make it, but it's going to involve this twisty tie. So hopefully I'll be able to like form some poly gel over this thing, cure it, and then slide it off. But we'll see. So when we lay it on top of each other, it's pretty much there. So now all I have to do is paint it.
So I'm going to then cut a piece of sponge. Since this is going to be the top, I need to make it look a little more toasted. So I got my sponge here. I'm gonna um, dab a little bit of the sponge and kind of lighten it up on here so that hopefully I wish I had, oh, I do have more than one. <laughs> okay. And I'm just gonna toast this up. Oh my gosh, you guys. I really can't right now with this. Look how freaking toasty. <sighs> okay, let's stop toasting it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at my toast. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to make a sliver. I'm going to let this sucker dry, these two pieces, and then I'll get back to that. So what I am going to want to do now, though, I want to attempt to make um, these noodles for my mac and cheese. So I got my piece of um, twisty tie. I kind of already have like a yellow, so hopefully it's at least a good color to kind of work around. Gives a primer color, so I have that. Man, you guys, this is like intense. We're doing some ultimate sculpting here. So I'm going to take a bit of this and I'm going to put it onto my twisty tie, and then I'm going to grab some of my slip and I'm going to squish this into place. Now I don't know exactly if this is going to work, but if it does, I'm totally going to speed or cut through this thing so that you don't see me like making a ton of these. Then I'm going to cure it and hope for the best, you guys. Wish me luck. Okay. I am so excited to find out if this works. So I put the poly gel around the twisty tie and um, I gave that a cure. So now I'm just taking a lint-free wipe and some nail cleanser. And while I cleanse off the sticky layer, I'm going to hope <laughs> to pull it off. And you know what? Did it come off or did I just destroy the twisty tie? What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. I'm going to show you right now that it's a whole, it's a whole piece. <laughs> oh my gosh, I made a noodle. And I know it doesn't sound like that interesting to any of you. <laughs> or maybe some of you, maybe not, I don't know. But I just made a noodle. It's a little thick noodle, but it's a noodle. And so now I can just make a bunch of these and pile it on to my mac and cheese. And it looks like the color noodle if um, you didn't put any sauce on it. So I made the noodles which are right here. I'm gonna work with them in a bit. I'm just going to work on my pizza nail. I'm gonna paint little circles on there. So 
I'm gonna set this aside. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to rough up that crust a little bit. I'm gonna let this dry, and then we'll top coat that. So now we're gonna work with my grilled cheese. And what I'm going to do is take some of this Beetles Poly Gel. And we're going to make a thin slice of cheese. So I'm just going to size it up and put this down. I'm going to put a little dab in the middle. Put my cheese on top. Then I'm going to put another Dab in the middle. And then I'm going to put my top of my toast onto that. And then I'll cure this. Now I'm going to work on my last nail. We have the mac and cheese and I'm going to hope that I can do this organically. So I'm going to take some of the Beatles poly gel and I'm just going to swirl it in and around the surface of the nail. I'm going to have some spots of rhinestone glue just so that I don't rely solely on the poly gel to get these pieces to stay on and I'm just going to one by one stick them on there. So now that I've got these on there, I'm just going to cure this. As you see, it is a lot lighter than the, the background or the base color. So I'm just going to quickly take dollops of this and just spread it on. Okay guys, so for this one, I don't want it glossy. Let me try doing a, let's do a matte coat on the crust and then I'll gloss coat the rest of it. I'm going to be putting 
some of this um, rhinestone glue. I'm going to nail cleanse this. And this is what it looks like. So I like that the crust is, I like that the crust is matte. And yeah, I see like the texture that I added with the rhinestone glue. How cute is that? I can't. So last but not least, now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to squirt some of this rhinestone glue here and there. Okay. So I'm adding some dimension there and then I'm going to go back in with my top coat and I'm going to want to try to just top coat this whole thing. I don't want to muddy up the paint that I've already put on here so we're going to try to not cover that up but I basically just want to seal all that work that we did Oh my gosh, mac and cheese. So this is the end result. Look at this, you guys. I just can't for the life of me. So for anyone tuning in now, or for those that have been through this video from the beginning and starting to forget what the heck I'm doing here, it's Night at the Improv, and tonight's word is cheese. Thank you, Sandra from um, Sandra's Sparkly Sets. Check her out. She gave me the word for the night. Cheese. And I have a cheesy selection for you. I have my pepperoni pizza with the matte crust and the glossy cheese with the pepperoni. And then I have my grilled cheese on a fancy plate. That is a removable charm to reveal a nice pretty flower on a nice pretty background of a plate. And then I have my mac and cheese that I made from a twisty tie and poly gel on a fancy looking bowl. But look at this you guys, this is so super cute. <laughs> I guess these um, mac and cheese noodles are my charms for this nail, but um, I just can't with this. I can't. Now I want a pizza, a grilled cheese, and a mac and cheese. Maybe make like a sandwich out of pizza and mac and cheese. <laughs> Look at the detail. Got some nice white American on there, some provolone or on my toast just can't. well I hope you guys love these nails these are so cute thank you again Sandra this was such a challenge um, but I think I did it and um, for anyone that wants to participate in at night in the improv 
please comment below your word that I'll have to use to design as a nail. Again, keep it PG-13. I'll add it to the spinner and we'll select a word and I'll give a shout out to the person that gave me the word. But there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. This is Isms by Josie. Please share a like and subscribe for future videos. And join me again next week, Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time for Night at the Improv. And later this weekend, join me for my short and sweet every other week nail design. Thanks. Bye.